Hey, uh, hold on. Be there in a second. Ah, you're already here. Hello. Uh, and welcome to another episode of Satchel of Shite. Uh, this week's episode uh, is thus. Um, let me open my work satchel here. Hard day at work. Thank you for tuning in everyone thank you for uh strolling by my channel my name is bob and my regular viewers i love you all you're the best let's see let's see what we got in here in my uh current satchel of shite um let's see what's uh Oh, here it is. Here it is. Slamo Chanel. Uh, one of my favorites. Houses. Allure Edition uh, Blanche EDP. Uh, I got this a couple years ago. Y'all know what, what hype has been on this. Um, love the bottle. I'm not crazy about the line. My favorite Allure of them all is uh, Allure Sensual EDP. Um, and I like O Extreme and uh, Allure Sport, the original. The uh, original Allure for men I went through a whole big bottle of that more than a decade ago. I liked it, but it was a little cloying for me here uh, in, in the hot weather. This stuff is smells great in the hot weather. This stuff smells good. It smells great. I'm not a big gourmand fan, but uh, yeah, the problem is um, for the hot summer, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, it's going to be sweated off in 20 minutes. And after 45 minutes, you're going to have a hard time, for most people, detecting it off your skin. An hour, you're going to be burying your nose. Here, let's make this our uh, scent of the hour or scent of the early, early evening. Pink pepper, lemon. Creamy. Um, my point is, this is expensive, right? Whatever, 150 bucks. It's not worth it. It's, uh, this is bad, in my opinion. I'm going against the grain here, I know. This is the EDP. There was an EDT out. I don't know anything about that. But it smells good. I don't love it, the smell. Um, citrusy, gourmand, very light. But what's the point of a perfume that you can't smell after two hours or even an hour or a half hour in the worst case? Um, there isn't a point. And you can't make that argument against me. I'm, I'm kind of a logical kind of guy. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not hard-nosed about a lot of things. I, you know, you don't have to convince me uh, about things that are obvious, you know. But uh, I'm a simple, logical kind of guy. And I don't think you're paying $160 or $150 and you can't smell it after an hour. That's bad. That's terrible. Um, I don't think that's right. I don't 
just like I don't think uh, a guy in a cave with a satellite phone and kidney disease uh, legitimately took down the most intelligent, strongest defenses in the world to, uh, to bring uh, havoc to buildings in a city, in a country, in a world. You just can't convince me that's, that's true. So, and you can't convince me that this is worth the money when you can't smell it, all right? So, a perfume has to be strong, like Chanel Number no. 5, all right? Just dab a little bit on you where you want to be kissed. And if it's too strong, you just, you dial down the dose, but you can't make it stronger. Perfume should be able to be smelled hours and hours after application is my point. And this doesn't uh, fit the bill. Um, cutting to the chase, I love this House of Chanel, but I love the women's line at least twice as much more than the men's. Come on, Chanel. Uh, don't buy this is my recommendation right now. If you don't have this, don't buy this. Don't listen to the hype anymore. Save your money. There's other stuff you can buy. It's a pretty bottle. Buy another Allure. Um, why would you want to uh, buy this, spend a lot of money, and not have your, your own nose smell it in two hours, let alone other people, right? So that's this week's edition of uh, Satchel of Shite. Unfortunately, uh, Alorum Edition Blanche from the House of Chanel. Uh, mainly because uh, it's such a poor performer. Not because it smells bad, it smells good. It smells wonderful to a lot of people, but it doesn't last. So that's my point of view. Don't take it too literally. It's good for your collection. I'm not gonna sell this. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it. I uh, like the smell. I'm just backtracking here. I remember using this one time my good friend, my beautiful friend from England came into town, as she always does. And we went to brunch at the uh, Kahala Hotel. And they have a great brunch there on Sunday. I brought a four mil kind of Tom Ford glass atomizer filled with this stuff because I knew it wouldn't last. And every half hour, literally, if she went to the to the little girl's room, I went to the little boy's room, I just sprayed it on my neck. She loved the smell of it because I just sprayed it. You feel me? But if I didn't bring that atomizer, it wouldn't have lasted from the car ride and when I picked her up to when we sat down at the table. So come on, what's the point? What's the point of a perfume if it doesn't last? I don't think anybody out there can argue against me. So thank you for tuning in and uh, maybe sometime in the short future, I'll uh, come back with a, a new episode of what's in here. Um, the last thing I want to say is I just want to uh, thank uh, Christo for giving me his blessing uh, to do this, right? To do this funny yet serious kind of vid. So he's the man. Christo, he changed his name to Chris K Channel. So check him out. I'll uh, leave it in the comments. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what might be in your satchel of shite uh, for poor performance or just over -hypeness. okay so take care everyone and be well and keep the faith